Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my candle collection. I've got them all laid out on my bed right here and I've got them separated by season. I have like spring and summer together and then fall and then winter. So I'm just gonna show you guys right now because it's after SAS. I'm pretty much finished purchasing until fall stuff comes out in late July slash August. So I need to get through a few more candles before I'm comfortable purchasing some more. But I figured I'd show you my collection right now because I think the last collection video I did was in January. So it's been quite some time. So here is my June candle collection. Okay, as you can tell, I have a ton. And I have actually a lot more spring and summer candles than I typically would have. So these top two rows are all spring and summer. And then this is fall. And then the bottom row is um, winter. Actually, just this is winter. So, okay, let's go ahead and start going through them. So first I have these two single wicks that are not necessarily any kind of season. They're just kind of just cozy um, scents. So this is Cozy Linen. I actually just got this one at SAS. And the notes are Lily of the Valley Petals, Sweet Orange Cotton Musks. I'm not going to go through all the notes on these candles, but I figured just the first couple ones. Um, and Mahogany Vanilla, which you guys can read the notes right there. So those are two single wicks that I have, just kind of general all seasons. I have Feel Loved Champagne Cupcake with the beautiful heart lid. I did find this one at SAS for um, $10.95. And the notes are fluffy cake, whipped vanilla, frosting, and pink sprinkles. And then along with the kind of spring notes, I have champagne toast, really a year-round scent, pink petal tea cake, unicorn sprinkles. I put all like the berry scents together. I have sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar. I have a blueberry marshmallow bar, which I also just bought at SAS. I have buttery popcorn and red, white, and blue cake. These two are both from last summer. I have black teakwood and mahogany coconut. These two I bought at Candle Day. I have Santorini Coast from this year and Tiki Beach from this year. And then these two I consider year round is mahogany teakwood and ginger lime twist. I'm actually saving ginger lime twist for super hot weather, which it kind of is right now, so I might bring this one out soon. It is fresh lime zest, fizzy ginger beer, and crushed mint leaves. It's basically a um, Moscow mule. It smells so good. And then I have this one Homeworks candle in coconut cake. This is my only one that's like a summery Homeworks candle. And this is toasted coconut, coconut milk, whipped cream, buttercream frosting, baked cake, and pecan. And I do have a review up on my channel of this candle if you're curious. And then I don't have too many fall candles. I have two, four, six, eight fall candles. And I think that's actually pretty reasonable. Um, so I have these two pumpkin peanut brittles. This is one of my absolute favorites. I'm going to sniff it right now just because I miss it. It smells so good. Definitely has that peanut butter in there. The notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. And then I have a white pumpkin, which is a wonderful like November scent. I have cinnamon, spice vanilla, and hot cocoa and cream. This is a blends from last year. I did not burn it because I bought it, um, I believe in the winter time and this is definitely like a fall hot cocoa candle i have cuddle weather which actually came out in the fall of last year but i feel like this is definitely more of a winter scent it's warm gingerbread tea cinnamon shortbread and a cozy blanket it is super cinnamony super cinnamon heavy so it needs to be burned like at least in november and then i have two from goose creek i have cherry cobbler and halloween night which this is actually the scent of um caramel candy corn it smells really yummy and then i have this single wick and pumpkin spice latte the notes are pumpkin spice fresh espresso and whipped cream just a really nice coffee scent and then i do have these two homework scents that are uh, fall scents i have hot cider donut which i had last year and i bought a second one because it's so amazing Notes are Harvest Apple, Cinnamon Sugar, Vanilla Bean, and Spice Cider. You guys, this is an amazing fall scent, really, to get you in the mood. I burned this, I believe, in October. It was amazing last year, so I'm so excited to burn it this year. And then Blueberry Cheesecake in the Three Wick. I have not tried this one yet. It is Wild Main Blueberry, Cheesecake Accord, Blackberry Jam, and Brown Sugar Crust. This honestly could be a um, summer or a fall scent, so you guys will have to let me know if I should bring this out in the summer and start burning it now. 
And then I have my winter scents, which I have two, four, six, eight, ten candles in the winter scents. I have the Perfect Christmas Cinnamon Sugared Pecans. Now this one actually I think is a fall, could be a fall scent. It just has like super cinnamony. I'll show you the notes on this one. It's warm cinnamon toasted pecans and brown sugar. That cinnamon is super heavy in this one. And the perfect Christmas is fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar toasted marshmallows. This one is so strong on that pine scent that it like honestly was really hard to burn for me last year. So I'll see if I'll burn it again this year, but kind of curious about that one. I have another champagne toast. This one came in one of the box sets last year for Christmas time. I have Fireside, which the notes are smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers. This one is super smoky. Again, not one that I would burn all the time, so I really just bought it because of this lid, honestly. And then I have Peppermint Hot Chocolate and Peppermint Sugar Cookie. These are my two favorites for wintertime. And then I have four from Goose Creek. I have Hot Cocoa and Peppermint chocolate drizzled popcorn which was pretty fun not super strong but did definitely smell like popcorn gingerbread milkshake and gingerbread donut and that is my entire candle collection so let me count these for you so i have 35 full-size candles and three single wicks so i have 38 candles right now i believe i started the year at 40 so i've definitely been purchasing um a lot especially these like springish summer candles i really need to get through a lot of these so i can start um buying some fall ones because my collection is kind of overflowing and i don't really have enough space for it all so yeah wish me luck i definitely need to get through a lot in the next month and then i'll definitely be comfortable for fall time okay so there you have it that is my candle collection for the summer of 2023 i definitely have more candles than i would like i think 38 is a lot in my opinion for my collection i would like to keep it around 20 um but i think last year i didn't burn i didn't get through as many christmas candles as i really needed to so i'm holding on to a lot of christmas candles from last year and i definitely need to get through some of these spring and summer ones that i just bought so that's the reality on that. But anyways, that is everything for my collection video. Let me know down below if you saw any of your favorites in my collection and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.